Hello, my name's Alison Parkinson, and I'd like to read you my new book, Tiger's Eye. And Tiger's Eye is a sequel to my first picture book, which was called Tiger Tail. Another dawn, the world awakes. The jungle creatures start to stir. While slow and calm, the river runs its fingers through my fur. Green waters part at my command, revealing depths of Indian ink. The water's cool, it smells so sweet. I lick my lips, it's time to drink. But then look who turns up. My, you must be thirsty, lapping litres with that tongue so pink. Look, it's me, remember me? We met last week, you do, I think. And what do you think Zareth is going to do when he notices the lady? He says, confound your senseless chatter. You've turned my water sour. Be off with you or you shall feel the force of my dread glower. And this is a lady's reaction. Oh, what gorgeous eyes you have like discs of burning gold. You're such a handsome fellow, with his stripes so dark and bold. And the tiger says, then tremble at my greatness, as you find yourself before. Your prince, the most magnificent, Zarif of Jaipur. And the lady says, you are a noisy fellow. You just love to make a din. Sitting there as proud as punch with your four big paws and your furry chin. And Zareth says, my chin denotes nobility. I'm glad you like my paws, for they hide inside a secret. Four fine sets of fearsome claws. And the lady says, I'd love to rub that tummy and scratch behind your ears. I could just sit and watch you for hours, for months, for years. And this is Zareth's response. He says, then watch how my tail taps and flicks a message just for you. You've outstayed your welcome, so buzz off, Scarpa. Leave my zoo. Zareth is peaceful now, and he says, The twilight wakes my senses. Soon the moon will rise, and I will stalk the shadows and take prey by surprise. I'll slink down from a tree branch or pounce from up on high. You will not hear me coming like a comet. I shall fly. And look who's turned up again. The lady says, Cooey, hello, it's me again. I was just passing by. I thought I'd come and sit with you till the sun fades from the sky. And Zareth says, Must you spoil my evening with your loud incessant shrieking? How can a prince go hunting when you just won't stop speaking? But the lady says, I had to come tonight because I have something to say. And Zarif said, that, my dear's your problem. Will you please just go away? But the lady continues. She says, I want to say I'm sorry that you're exiled in this zoo. You're in beautiful surroundings and they take great care of you. But you deserve to live your life away from prying eyes in distant lands of green and gold, with never-ending skies. 
And Zarev says, Bravo, well said. Now run along and practice what you preach. I admire your sheer persistence, but I can't abide your screech. He's very rude. But the lady is insistent. She says, I'm sorry that we humans have been selfish and so cruel. But lots of us are just like me. We think that tigers rule. And she says, the more I see your power, beauty, dignity and poise, the more I want to stand up tall and make a blooming noise. And Zarif says, your face has gone quite purple and your eyes pop like a toad. I think that you should calm yourself. I fear you might explode. And the lady says, I'm not an angry person, but I can hold it in no more. I want to be a tiger. I really need to roar. Let's see what Zarif's reaction is to that. Zarif says, well, that was unexpected. You gave me quite a start. But now I see the true you. You have a tiger's heart. Your chatter still annoys me, but I'll grant you leave to stay and give you royal permission to visit me each day. And that's the end of my story. And it has a special message because what the cat loving lady wanted to say is that it's really important that tigers are preserved and protected across the world. And this is the message of this story for all people around the world to come together to save the tiger, magnificent tigers like Zarif. So I hope you've enjoyed my story. And if you'd like to get your own copy of the book and find out more about the other books I've written and why I write them, you can go to my website which is www.wwf, which is www.tigersibooks.co.uk.